Yasu class. Try it one more time. Yasu class. Good, I'm assuming that was good. I can't hear you. Um, it's a video. But um, welcome to class. You have a sub today. Obviously, I'm not here. Um, I asked the sub to show this video clip uh, on YouTube of me start watching a Disney movie uh, for cultural geography. You should have already done your mapping stuff for your mapping packets and filled out some things for session the session that you're on. You did not get a stamp today. I will stamp uh, today's session next time. So we get two stamps next time, assuming that they're all filled out and correct and done. And if you have any questions, email me and I'll be happy to answer them. This little video is only about this worksheet that you should have in front of you. If you do not have a worksheet, it was not passed out, or you didn't get one, raise your hand. I'll have the sub give you a worksheet. Um, the worksheet on McFarland USA. First of all, McFarland USA is a Disney movie. It's a, a movie with Kevin Costner. It's a very good movie. It's about some high schoolers that are on a cross country or track team for a high school. Uh, the reason that we watch it in geography in cultural geography specifically, is the different things that you see take place with the cultural traits, which is something we've been talking about the last few classes. So the first thing we want to do is go over here to this board and review the cultural traits that we have focused on. There are eight. Food, language, clothing, traditions, religion, stereotypes, beliefs, and taboo. Um, a very quick overview. Food, what is eaten and how it is eaten. Language could be um, specific phrases that are lost on those outside of the culture. Clothing, what is worn, how it is worn. Traditions like Christmas or um, family traditions. Religion, religion. Stereotypes is a statement about an entire group of people. It's based on one. Beliefs are different than religion in that beliefs can be just beliefs about something, like the number 13 is unlucky. And lastly, taboo is when someone does something offensive or offends someone because it is generally understood as something you do or do not do. Those are our cultural traits. Why is that important? Back On the worksheet, it says cultural left column. The middle column, example from movie and culture or group. Uh, you're going to get started on this. Some of you might finish. How many we got? 20 says EX, EX, that'll be extra credit. Um, you can do 23 and some people get all 23 in the first day. Some people don't even get 20 by the end of the movie. So that's up to you. I'm just going to tell you how to fill it out. I'll give you some answers or cheat, little cheat sheet on some of the cultural traits. You have a trait that you observe in the movie. It's pretty straightforward. Do you have to list one of the eight cultural traits that are on the board? No, you do not. It's easiest if you do it that way. Otherwise, you've got to come up with a cultural trait on your own. And those are fine. We've talked about some of them, like art or names, transportation, jobs, type of government. We talked about a, a few. And you can use those. It's easier to stick to the eight, but that's up to you. So how do I fill out the worksheet while I watch the movie? Let's zoom in over here. There we go. So I've zoomed in up here. I'm going to show you. We're going to fill in some answers here so you can see what I mean. Um, you, the first thing that's going to happen when you watch the movie, opening credits, you're going to hear some music. Do we know that music is a cultural trait? Yeah, we talked about it. Um, is it one of the cultural traits listed on the board? No, it is not. That's OK. It doesn't have to be. So for example, the first thing you do, write music as the cultural trait. Example from the movie. Um, this could be a lyric. This could be. Something specific about the music that you're hearing, for example, um, accordion and tuba. 
I hear the accordion and tuba a lot in this music that, I, that starts the movie. Um, and it's also sung in Spanish, so that could be something. What group and or culture does that belong to, the, the tuba music? Mexican. So that's number one. You got it all written out. Uh, what groups are you going to see in the movie? Majority. Going to be Mexican as a, a culture. As a group, you'll see standard American white culture, however you want to write that here. You'll see other groups like athletes, specifically cross-country athletes. You'll see groups like gangs. You'll see a student group or student culture, um, teacher culture, all sorts of groups here. The main ones are going to be Mexican and white. You get to observe whatever you want to observe any way you want to observe it. I just need the worksheet filled out. A couple other examples. Uh, today you're going to uh, The manager says, I think we're all hungry. Why don't we go see if there's a restaurant? And he, they go to the restaurant and they try to order burgers. That's pretty white. And we have tostadas, enchiladas, etc. Tostadas, tacos, etc. And that would be Mexican. And so forth. How fast can you get 20 of them? Very quickly. How many are in the movie? There are a lot. When I did the activity myself to see how many I could get during the movie, I got 172, something like that. So you could easily get 20. You just have to pay attention. Remember, you're not watching the movie as much as you are analyzing the movie in terms of its cultural traits. Um, if you have any questions um, and you're signed up for reminders, you can send a question via the text reminder. I may be able to respond. And or you should um, send an email. So we're going to play the movie. You have the worksheet. Fill out the trait and the example that you're seeing and which group it comes from. That is all you need to do today. We will not finish the movie today. Next time you come to class, I will be here and we'll... We'll continue the movie and we'll go from there. All right. Be good to the sub.